It's Music Reaction oh, Time! Oh yeah! Hey, we're back with some more guitar reactions! By Alit! That's right! The guitar prodigy from Indonesia. Oh. We're going to see him do a version of a song we actually heard before. Which is? Another Indonesian take when Koplo Time did it. This is Lily by Alan Walker. Okay. So now we're going to hear this song in guitar form. Wow, this is just getting better and better and better. What is it about this song in Indonesians? I feel like they have so many versions of the song that they played in so many different ways. As if this is one of the most popular songs there. In fact, I had to look it up because I was a little bit confused like who this Alan Walker guy was. Because I know Alan Walker, he's a famous DJ. Huh. And sure enough, it's the same guy. Okay. So he so actually wrote this song, Lily, and it's a collab with a singer. But yeah, he's a famous DJ. Definitely one of the top DJs in the world. If you go check out his channel, he's got like 25 million subscribers and billions of views. But this song in particular, for whatever reason, is really popular. In Indonesia. Go figure. <laughs> It's not even like one of his like big DJ songs. It's kind of a more of a fun, melodic, it's very cutesy in many ways. Right, right. So let's check it out. I'm curious how he's going to play this piece and how he's going to make it his own version. All right, let's watch this. Let's do it. And away we go. <laughs> Instantly recognize the song. Right from the first beat. I don't even know where he's making half these sounds. I can see him tap the finger, but every now and then he's like doing these other sounds that I can't figure out how he's doing. Like he's strumming the strings. But it's making this rasping sound. He's making this sound. Like, how's he doing that? Oh, oh my gosh. Holy moly. Okay. It's like he's playing five different instruments at once. A little drum, a little a little tick 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 and the guitar <laughs> like unbelievable. This is insane. His fingers are all over. My goodness, I feel like all the fingers are making sound and tapping all the parts of the guitar. Unless what he's doing is he's using his feet to play other instruments or things <laughs> that but we don't just see it because it's below the camera. No. Uh, maybe he's got his shoes off and he's scratching a washboard or something like that. It's insane. Woo. Like, yeah. How do you even do that? I don't know. It's even more impressive because his fingers look really short and stubby and he's able to move them all over it and... <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh wow! He definitely played this slower compared to Coplo time. 
Yeah. Don't you think? For sure. I mean, Copeland Time is a fast beat with drum. So it's like... It's more fun. Yeah. This is a very easygoing sort of interpretation, if you will. Right. But in the process, he's added so many different elements to it that it felt like there was something going on all the time. But it, I don't see how he's doing it. <laughs> Their fingers are like forward, back. Actually, I think there's a recent contestant <laughs> on America's Got Talent that does something just like this and even faster. We're going to have to check really? him out. Yeah, We haven't actually watched any of his performances yet. I have seen recommendations for this other guitarist. But I think this is a style of music now. I don't know what it's called, but I think they might call it finger style. If you happen to know, if you play the guitar, you see someone actually <laughs> play this this way and there's a certain name for it let us know because i'm really curious now i'm going to see if there's other artists who do stuff like this where they take the guitar and they start doing all sorts of other sounds with it it's really uh -huh. cool <laughs> it's almost like a human beatbox voice yeah except yeah. that you're using your guitar guitar for and your fingers you need <laughs> impressive wow and he's on a different side of the house this time. With no, all I think it's still the, the kids' room. You know, he's got some cute little characters, frog. a little froggy froggy, froggy on the right froggy. there. And a wall is full of, like, scribble from the Exactly. <laughs> you know a kid lives there? Because at this height, everything in the background, you can see it. It's like kids scribbling stuff on with the markers, oh the crayons. And, oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. Children. 